close if I would have brought my my tacticam I could have zoomed it in and only had to gone back like every six hours to change batteries and then sit there for days and watch what the heck is that I think that's one of the biggest issues though in trying to research this is, is going through all the, the data oh that's it takes time it sure does especially if you need to pick up those subtleties. What well, and if you blow through it, I mean that, yeah, like I said, you, what gets you is, say like, going down to Mothman, going into, me and Deb going in there and not expecting anything. You know, nothing happened. You ain't got nothing. And then you go sitting there and you just want to blow through it. Well, just in case, I'm just going to sit here and just stare at it. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Can we explain it? Can we figure this out? It's what's going to happen, somebody will watch your video later on and say, Hey, did you see this? Hey, did you see that? I get that all the time. Go to check out the timestamp. You're, you're right by one. <laughs> Literally, I get that a lot. Especially yeah. on my Bumpy Lake video. Oh, so yeah, this is the main road going, coming in, right? No, no. Oh, no, no, no. no. That's one of the trails, Beaver Pond, 20 minute loop. Okay, so parking, I see a vehicle over there. I did say group camp was this way. Because we can see the trail right over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's right there. Might be a little bit easier to access. Gimbal I got, I, I don't know how many times I use it, I still haven't gotten it figured out. Thing just takes off by itself, all of a sudden points down to the ground, starts spinning around in circles. <laughs> yeah. 
if you don't start recording, it, the whole thing shuts down. Yeah, it's a loop. Look at the size of that feller. All over. Good food source too. Really? Yes. Like all over camp. <laughs> Not as big. <laughs> cool. Oh, okay. That's the access. Yeah, and we're parked up there, so yeah. Oh, what are those? What is that? Pope berries? What are those? Pope berries? The red thing there. The red berry there. It almost looks like a big old strawberry. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it almost looks like a wild strawberry. I think it's just Hicks Lake, the Hicks Hick Lake Trail is what it's called, or the Beaver Pond Trail. Wow! Look at that. Well, that one. <sighs> they can also sound like an adult man out there too, speaking. You know, they're. Yeah, I record, that was one of my first recordings was uh, Beaver going, oh, oh. Oh, what you saying? Those are like a form of lily, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that brown trail, the logging road, Brent? This brown, this brown spots going up the the hill there is that? Yeah, probably yeah. Okay. Or it's, it's, it's cut out. 
But it might be uh, an old one that. Cool. Yeah, you, we we just don't get stuff like this here. You know, where you get the, which I'm assuming this is from partial logging, or you, you just don't. We just don't see. Oh man. Regrowth like that. Yeah, there's some that are like huge, like the size of a Volkswagen bus that come across, and still see the notches where the loggers used to. And see a lot of like if I were standing looking straight that way like right now, yeah. that's kind of a little bit thicker uh, as far as canopy. That's about where Joe's siding would have looked like. I got I brought the video with me so. Oh, the road's not, that, road's not all that far, let me see. So it's gonna be, yeah, almost fingerless. <laughs> oh, my stars and garters, look at that. do to wake up to this every day. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Why the heck was I born in Ohio? Pretty flat there, huh? Eh, at least up where we're at. You get the glacial, it, it's, it's a mix. You got the Appalachians are starting the foothills to the south and then you have the great glacier plains to the north. They'll take a hill at the top of that mountain right there. Oh, it's segmented. Yeah. Yeah, a hill like that in Ohio, they turn that into a ski resort. I think Thomas was talking about it being this area. Yeah. It's gotta be up there. Oh, this, it says there a heck of an elevation change. Oh yeah. 2,500 foot gain. Yeah, the pond up there is Squaw Valley. Dave, according to Jonathan, it's probably about half the size of this. It's just like out there in the middle of nowhere. Beaver, man, he's just, uh, they building it up over the last six or seven years.
Oh wow. That's what I was thinking when I came down. If you didn't know that was there, you'd... Something, you just see a dark... Mm-hmm. Of course, you know, it gets in that whole, is it moving thing. Okay, I'm going to come around the corner, be looking that way, and then turn and wave. No, stay over there. I'm going to come around the corner. Look, you looking? And then turn and wave. Okay. That's your new intro. Okay. Oh. Okay, ready? <laughs> 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 oh, this way! This way! <laughs> Is that how it blooms? Yeah. So we, we have this invasive one that looks uh, similar to this, but it's more leafy. And it has a, a, a single flower coming out of it. And uh, it has a resin on it where if it gets on top, if it gets on you, it'll actually burn your skin. Huh. Yeah, so they're uh, starting to come in Washington. And lots of reports that people touch them and stuff and they're shooting all the type of burn. You stay on that end, and I'm going to have you come in the Can you see me now? I love these things. I really love this that computer. Yeah, it's right, oh, yeah. right in front of her there.
Oh, okay. Then. Now, what are you recording in? 1080 or 4K or 1080? 1080. 1080. I don't even have a 4K TV, so it's like, huh. Plus, it takes up so much room. And it eats, it eats your batteries, too. Yeah, and if you're just doing on YouTube, uh, 1080 is good. 